General hospitals follow for the next week, from May 29 to June 2nd. Predicts Valentin Gazada is facing a risk of serious illness complication because of the pathogen. This made Anna Tivan unable to hide her surprise with what she just heard. Anna is worried that her boyfriend will be in danger. The person who reassured her now is Laura Collins. When we think of Laura, we remember the reading of the will that day. After Victor Gazada will was published by Laura, Valentin lost control. The ceremony went awry, and the list were dispatched shortly after. Suspecting that Valentin was suffering from something, the police immediately found Valentin to question him soon after. Police Albert gave the police a hint that Valentin might be suffering from complication from the pathogen. Whatever Jerome and Austin Gatlin Holt did to Nicholas Gazzai has been discovered. They met and talked about it. But Mason Gatlin broke into their private conversation. Mason threatened to expose Ava and Austin Crams by intentionally killing Nicholas if they don't listen to Mason's words. As he spoke, Mason held down his cell phone with a picture of an unconscious Nicholas on it. The fact that Gina Robinson is likely to be Curtis as her biological daughter will be the basis for the Curtis and Portia Robinson to return to be in a single family is very high. Jordan Asford knew this was going to happen, but when she thought about Curtis going back to live with Portia and them becoming a happy family, Jordan felt very jealous. Jordan always had the image of Curtis in mind because Jordan loved Curtis so much. Jordan had hoped that she and Curtis would have a chance to get back together after that kiss, but now there is only regret. Perhaps that kiss is the last time for Curtis to say goodbye to Jordan. An argument broke out between Sonny Garanto and Collie Spencer, where Collie assumed that Sonny and Nina Reeves married life would not be happy. But Sonny didn't believe it and vowed to prove it to Collie to admire. This will soon be over as Nina revealed a loophole about a call to the SEC in a conversation with Oliva Quarterman. The secret will be released in due course. On the other hand, Jukan is too worried that she won't be able to see her daughter scout again if she goes to jail for insider trading. But Sam Marco advises her ex-husband to be optimistic because scout again has Sam to take care of. After a long time of exonerating himself, Ned Quarterman will have a tense confrontation with Nina. After Ned receives information from Olivia, as for Michael Garanto. The shock was still not over when he received the news that Sunny and Nina were engaged. Never before had Michael felt more remorse than he did when he accepted Willow Garanto's offer to forgive Sunny earlier. Marsha Asford advises Stella Henry to support Curtis' every decision, no matter what. The two may be talking about whether Curtis chooses to get back with his ex-wife or a new wife, because Sunny rejected Justin Jack's proposal. To fire a tax haller, Jocelyn was furious. That hatred motivated Jocelyn to convince Collie to fight hard to prevent Sunny and Nina from having a wedding. After many struggles, will Sunny and Nina be able to get together?